Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do um, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please um, continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. How is Leo coming to the reading? How is Leo coming to the reading? Dark male. Okay, so you could be dark or dark-skinned uh, of a different ethnicity or, um, <clears throat> yeah. You could also be keeping something, holding something, you know, holding something back. What is this about? Why is Leo coming? The mature man. Okay, so some of you, you you could be holding something back about maybe a mature man, an older man, somebody who's going bald, maybe even gray, who's already have has life experience, maybe has already been married. Um, now they're just into carefree connections. Something about this man you don't like or you're holding back or maybe you're reserving your opinion about this particular um, mature man here. Um, the, it could be same sex too with the two men coming out. How is Leo's person coming to the arena? How is Leo's person? Fair male. Okay, so your person could be of lighter skin. Um, they could be kind of just neutral about everything. Um, maybe even kind of green or not seeing things the way you see it. Um, you guys are polar opposite with the dark male and the fair male here. So it's like you guys are seeing things, um, you know, on the same page. Clarify fair male. Yeah, past love. All right, so there could have been a past love that this fair male was a part of or a past relationship and broke up or broke down. Um, but now, um, I don't know, something's resurfacing here. We got three men here. Okay, what is the energy between Leo and their person? Children. Hmm. Um, maybe, and if you don't have any children, then it's obligation. Um, or maybe this is talks of children. Um, this is also, yeah, talks, talks about obligation and where the relationship is going. The future of the relationship. What is the advice for Leo here? And if it's not same sex, then some woman is, you know, you coming at your man in the energy of masculine energy too. So it's masculine energy being met with masculine energy. Therefore, there's a budding of the heads here. You and someone are not on the same page in terms of children. Uh, maybe how you rear your children. Maybe even talking about maybe somebody dealing with somebody from their past. Um, this relationship or this breakup or this situation could be for the short term. For you to find true love. For you to think about, you know, what is next here. Because there could be somebody who's still dating, courting, still wanting to date other people. Still keeping options open, very friendly, very outgoing. What is what is the short term in the in in true love? Maybe this disconnect between you and someone is just for the short term. It's for you to figure out what it is you don't want, what you shouldn't tolerate, and then move forward. What is this about? Yeah, sudden wealth. All of a sudden, you know, it's about maybe you'll find yeah message of concern. Um, it, it's about you guys getting past this the problems in the relationship. Everything is not a finality. Everything is not just throw away the connection, the relationship. This could be more so. Um, how do you work past this? How do you resolve conflict? How do you get to the next level? Your expectation here. Um, you've been expecting for things to get better, especially maybe with you um, maybe taking a backseat and not speaking your mind as much. The main male coming out again with community. Um, 
you feel like somebody puts a lot of emphasis on their family, on the people that they um, they like, they love. Yeah, they're always going to go see family or always running off or running, running to. Hmm. When it when things get tough, when things get hard, somebody kind of just um, maybe kind of disappears. Yeah. In which somebody thinks that somebody has another lover or that somebody is keeping up. Yeah. Keeping somebody on the side. What's going on here? Yeah, somebody feels like there's somebody on the side. Um, you know, when they when you guys get in an argument or when things get tough, somebody feels like or oh, they run to another person or they confide in someone else. Someone doesn't um doesn't know how to resolve conflict. Yeah, someone infertility issues. Um someone just doesn't know how to make the relationship grow here. Okay. Um, but if somebody wants to take the relationship to the next level with the secret plans to propose, um, we got, I don't value shit. Like somebody is just not in a place of maybe valuing the connection, the relationship. Um, someone can't have more children. Somebody wants to give somebody a child. not physically attracted to my partner somebody's just not attracted somebody feels like this was a bad decision maybe to get married or live together or be because somebody is still in the energy of wanting to meet other people wanting to be the courting man wow and have fun times yeah somebody just wants to date other people maybe romantic dinners if someone can't maintain this relationship When you travel with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you saw maybe the real side of them. The health of this relationship could be declining because somebody doesn't want to put the energy, the effort, time into it. If somebody feels like another person is late night creeping, like that somebody has a sneaky link here. Yeah, yeah that somebody is um, practicing promiscuity. All right, so what should Leo be focused on moving forward? What should Leo be focused on moving forward? Retirement. Maybe go, you need to, okay, this is on the top of the deck. Start that business and retirement. So you might need to go from one job to another, one career field to another. That's what you need to be focused on. What should Leo be focused on? Put in more time into maybe your own business. Self-care, focus on you. And taking care of you, um, the business of you. Yeah, sentimental feelings. Yeah, you got some feelings left over for this connection, this person. But you need to be sober, sober thinking. And, and it doesn't include this being emotional about this re relationship. But it's about more so doing for you, putting you first. Take the next step now. Yeah. In terms of maybe this this uh, business, um, something you're doing. You should be focused on moving, okay? Now, this card physically talks about moving, uh, but maybe even moving away from toxic thinking. Wow. Can't make it up. New career. Moving from one career to another. Uh, wow. And you cannot be focused on your emotions right now. You're not going to get anything accomplished being overly emotional, so you need to be focused on the business of you. When you get focused on you, how, how will Leo's person feel about them when leo gets focused on themselves how will leo leo's person feel about them when leo gets focused on themselves how will Le um they'll feel like maybe um they're horrible with money this could also they could be feel they could feel like they treated you horrible also they didn't value you okay how will um leo's person yeah they'll feel like um maybe they hurt you you know, because they were hurt, okay? Um, how will Leo's person feel once Leo gets focused on themselves? Yeah, they'll start to, you know, give you the sweet nothing, say all kinds of things to you. 
But if it's, you know, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. You can expect this in March. Yeah. Um, maybe once you get focused on yourself um, and, you know, you're not really focused on this relationship. Maybe you'll put parameters on the relationship because you'll be busy. You also need to do this. You need to tell people you can't talk after eight because you're working on business. Yeah, text me. Don't call me. That's what you need to be focused on. Maybe some of you need to fo focus on your body too, okay? You may even tell this person to not talk to you anymore, okay? So this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Um, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.